In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and add code to our page one that we created here in the previous lesson and start learning a little bit about PHP. Now, if you are using a different text editor and you're familiar with HTML, you've got the head and the body tags of the HTML, and some of those text editors will actually provide that for you. Like I know Dreamweaver does. If you've got something like that, you want to put the PHP code that I'm going to be typing here in the body tags, in between those body tags. That's where all the PHP code will go for pages that have the HTML structure set up. This page does not have it, so what we're going to do is start off with a PHP delimiter. And so I'm going to go ahead and use the less than symbol. We're going to go ahead and put in a question mark, type in PHP, question mark, and then the greater than symbol. And this is called the PHP delimiter. And what that means is all of our code is going to be written between the opening and closing of this particular tag that I've got typed in. And now where the separation is going to fall is going to be after that PHP. And so I'm going to go ahead and space that down here like so and give myself a few lines to write code. So everything that's going to be in PHP has to be between the opening and closing tag. And we can open and close multiple tags within the same page. And so some of them can be very short. However, typically the way that I code is most of the time we're going to be having the opening up at the top and the closing down at the bottom and then everything else in between. So now it's time for our first statement here within PHP. The first statement that we're going to use, and it's a typical statement that we, most people start off with, is the echo statement. And so just find a line here. I'll just go ahead and click here on line two. I'm going to go ahead and type in echo. And echo just basically is a command that's going to go ahead and tell it to display some kind of text or some kind of string that we're going to have to display. And there's another command that's very similar to this one. It's called print. However, the print is rarely ever used, and most people use the echo command. So we're going to go ahead and type in echo, and now we need to determine what I want to echo. And if you're familiar with programming at all, you know that anytime we echo a string, strings usually have double quotes around them. And this is the same thing for this case. I'm going to start off with a double quote, and then I'm going to go ahead and type in what I want it to say. And since it's traditional to type in hello world, for our first application, we'll go ahead and type in hello world, and I'll go ahead and use the exclamation point there at the end, and end that with the double quotes. And so you can see hello world is the string, it's going to be our fall between those two double quotes, and then what we need to do is every statement within PHP is going to have to end somewhere with a semicolon, and so this is a typical uh, a lot of languages use this, and same thing applies here for PHP, so get used to writing semicolon at the end of all of our statements of code that we will write. So now it's time to actually see what will happen. I've got echo hello world. What I'll need to do now is save my page. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit save here. And then it's going to update that page that's in that folder within my web server that we had created from the previous lesson. So now that this page has been saved, if I come over here to my web browser, I'll go ahead and hit back so I can look at this. This is the list of all the folders and I'll go back one more time just in case you had to refresh your browser. This is our local host page that we're working with and I'm going to click in the lessons folder and then in the lessons folder I can see the list of pages. I've got page one which is right here, page one. Now if I click on that page you're going to see hello world. Sometimes depending on the server that you have set up you may have to refresh your page so you may get used to having to hit the refresh button on your browser to see the changes that we make but you can see now my web page displays the text hello world and you can see it right here. In fact, if I make a change, let's take away the exclamation point. I will have to save my page first, but then if I refresh it over here, you'll see that the exclamation point has gone away. Now I want to point out the fact that PHP is a server programming language, server-side web language for web pages. And what we've got here is this code is not interpreted by a typical web server. We have to have that PHP engine in there, otherwise uh, the web server will not understand what's going on. And let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. On the client or my web browser that I have over here, if I want to view what is actually being displayed on this page, and I know we can see hello world, we actually have the source code that we can view. And on Internet Explorer, I'm going to need to right click here on the top and choose the menu bar. And I'm going to go ahead and go to view source. And this is the actual code that we've got that gets displayed from our web server that we have. And you can see that there is no PHP code here at all. In fact, all we see is just the hello world on this particular one. And let me show you, if I go back a previous page and I view the source of this, 
let's go to view source you'll see that there's an HTML document here and this has all the HTML structure that I need but you will never see a PHP tag and that's because the PHP is processed first and then sent all out as HTML to the web server which is then sent to the web browser itself and so the code that we will put in PHP will actually never be seen just the output or the result of that particular PHP code or statement that I have. And I'll go ahead and click on this page one here to show me my page again and now this is going to conclude the video on this particular lesson however in the next one we're going to go ahead and look at writing comments so that we can comment the code that we write and see instructions ourselves that we type in for the PHP page.